Time to replace the crank seal, timing cover gasket, and oil pan gasket on the L134 engine. We're going to start by draining the oil. While that's draining, loosen up the belt and remove it. Use an impact gun with an inch and 3 8 socket to remove the crank nut. The pulley is not tapered and should slide right off. Be sure not to lose the woodruff key. Set that aside as we'll reuse it later. Use a 9 16 socket and wrench to remove all the bolts on the timing cover. The four across the bottom are half inch. Once they're all out, pop the cover off and see what you're working with. While it's not necessary to remove these two parts, I wanted to show you the orientation and order in case they fall off while you're working. Use a half inch socket and remove all the oil pan bolts. I like to leave one bolt partially threaded in so that the oil pan doesn't drop and make a mess. Now's a great time to clean out your pickup tube and sludge from your oil pan. If any of these little rubber cylinders fall out of the rear main cap, just set them aside for later. Remove the old gasket. I recommend cleaning the surface with some sort of chemical cleaner to remove any oil or grease. Now it's time to remove the seal from the timing cover. I like to come in from the back side with a screwdriver, fold one edge of the seal over just enough to be able to get to it with a screwdriver, tap it in, work your way down, and it'll drop right out. The seal is not stuck in there too bad. Cleaned out the seal pocket. All the gasket surfaces are clean and wiped down. Um, if you notice, this front cover is not flat. There's a ridge right there. So we don't wanna just lay this flat on our table and drive the seal in that way. Get something small and round that fits inside there where it is flat, and then another piece to support the case so it doesn't wobble like that. And we're going to put it just like that and drive our seal down from the inside. So it's a little bit backwards compared to a normal seal. And you can see this has a spring right there. Your spring always goes towards the oil. You don't have to put anything on the seal itself. Sets right in there and it's very easy to drive this one in. It doesn't go very far and it's not a very tight fit. Set it in the seal pocket as straight as possible. You want something that rides on the outer part of the seal, not the inner part. And tap it gently, make sure it's straight, and then all the way until it seats. You can look at the front and make sure there's no gap between the seal and the cover. Make sure you prep all your services, clean all the sludge out of the oil pan, and make sure everything's wiped down with solvent and ready for the new gaskets. I install the timing cover first. These little studs at the bottom will hold the gasket. I don't put any silicone on these. I haven't found it necessary and it makes it a lot easier when you need to service this. So just put the gasket on, make sure the spacer is on, and then the little splash cover, and then just slide your timing cover on. The studs will hold it in place while we put the bolts in. One little trick I like to do before I tighten it is I like to hold something square or flat up against the block because this is where the oil pan seals. Uh, and then once you have it flat, snug it up. I like to snug these up by hand. You don't want to over tighten them. I have a little bit of silicone where the timing cover meets the block to fill that gap and help prevent leaks. Once you get that done, just carefully lift the oil pan into place. I try to get one started on each side about halfway down and then just go through starting each one. Always do this by hand and make sure your gasket is lined up. Finish tightening all the oil pan bolts by hand. I like to end here with these four across the front. They are a little bit shorter than the rest and that way it's all drawn up and you're not pulling with these. 
because as I said, these are very prone to stripping out. So we're just bringing them up until they're snug and not going any further than that. Also take note, these are a little bit shorter because they'll come up and hit these studs. Final step is to set the woodruff key in the groove. Try not to drop it down in. It should be level. Make sure the surface of your pulley is nice and clean. Line it up. Slide it in. Put your nut on. I have yet to find an actual torque spec on this nut. I usually make mine to about 120 foot-pounds. Definitely, for me, an impact works better. And that's it. Reinstall your belt. Put tension on it. Refill the engine with oil. And you're done.